Hey, Mr. Black, Operational Extras YouTube channel. I'm going to go over the five rules of improvising. Um, the five rules are just basically a memory um, slash learning tool to help you remember um, when it comes to uh, the need to improvise equipment. Okay, how many times have you uh, been in a situation where you need something, but buying it or just going and grabbing it out of the truck isn't an option? Um, that's where improvising comes into play. I'm going to read the five rules of improvising and um, go into a little more detail on each of those rules. Number one is to determine a need. Number two is to inventory possessions and available natural resources. Number three, consider all alternatives. Number four, select the alternative providing the most efficient use of materials, time, and energy. And number five, plan all construction to ensure that it is durable and safe. That's the five rules of improvising. Okay, I'm going to go back over the five rules and um, explain how they relate to this garment here and this uh, pack frame and this knife sheath slash metal match holder. Um, number one is to determine a need. So the gentleman that made this garment determined a need to have a little extra clothing. Um, he was going to be traveling in different terrains so it's reversible. Uh, the bottom and the top and he was going to need uh, some camouflage for the one if not two if not three areas that he was traveling through so the need to make this uh, camouflage garment slash warming garment was made so that's number one a need was determined number two um, the survivor here inventoried his possessions and available natural resources um, Obviously, this is parachute material, so that was on hand, and um, that was a better choice than snaring a moose and uh, skinning it out and uh, using natural dyes to get the uh, desired effect. So, um, the inventory of possessions and natural resources, most of this was just uh, the possessions of the parachute, so that was used. Um, intercore 550 intercore and a needle um, and that was in uh, in the survival kit or on his person so that's number two inventory possessions and available natural resources number three consider all all alternatives so like I said he didn't go with skinning out a moose or harp seal he went with parachute material that was on hand and uh, that's going to bring us to um, the uh, the select the alternative providing the most efficient use of materials, time, and energy. Um, he could have uh, went for the harp seal and uh, and done it that way, but then again, time and materials on hand right here, parachute material. It was the right colors. They're designed for that purpose, so um, this was an excellent choice. Again, it's reversible, so it's uh, multi-purpose, which is great for improvising or any survival equipment. Alright, so here's the, the inside. The same thing with the pants. Um, more of a lowland or possible desert environment from the alpine areas or the snowy areas to that switch um, top or bottom. It can be dark side out or light side out. Either way to blend in a little better. But that was um, again back to determine the need. Um, selected uh, select the alternative providing the most efficient use of materials, time, and energy. This took some time, um, maybe a little energy, but um, this this is well done. Locking stitched all the way, um, the pants, the cuffs, the uh, waistband, all the inseams, everything is done with a, a nice stitch. So, um, depending on how efficient you are with sewing. Um, that could that could help in your decision as far as uh, as far as uh, efficient use of materials, time, and energy. And with that, I'm going to show you this uh, some sewing here. But um, basically, parachute um, parachute uh, harness rigging, pre-sewn a lot of it. Um, folded and then sewn basically and tacked together 
so this was uh, available material and a good choice. The need was uh, determined, which was I need a sheath for my knife and um, a sheath for my metal match, so they're at hand. And they uh, are lanyard or dummy corded off or lanyarded off to uh, the sheath, so there's not a chance of losing it unless there's catastrophic failure all around. And then uh, that's that's a whole different ball game. But right here, uh, determine a need, use um, most efficient most efficient materials, time and energy. Right there, it didn't take too much to make that. Um, here, a little more time, not too much energy, but um, kind of a mixture of of different different. Uh, indigenous craft I guess um, 64 for Air Force survival different survival manuals there's a lot of uh, different knots there's some hobby craft knots like this uh, dream catcher so uh, there's quite a few different things there's natural materials and then there's man-made materials but it was a good use um, if I must say so myself on all of those materials um, available natural resources and uh, and possessions which was the the string and strapping so I hope that helps um, I'm going to do the last one uh, and it just kind of uh, reinforces the um, the time and energy um, plan all in plan all construction to ensure that it is durable and safe um, durable safe yeah, as durable and safe as a pack frame is going to get, you're uh, pretty good there. Same thing here. It's not high speed um, waterproof material, but it's it's going to get you through some uh, some cool nights. And uh, when you're on the move, it's going to help you stay concealed if that's that's the case. And in this this case, the case of this garment, that's that was the case. So um, there's the pants again. The sheath, um, the sheath, the pack frame, and the uh, improvised snow slash desert garment right here, all improvised. Okay, here's the here's the re-motivation. Um, if it ever arises a need to uh, improvise equipment, it would be a good thing just to memorize the five rules of improvising. I'm going to read down the five rules one more time. And uh, hopefully this helps. Commit it to memory, or write it down on a card, put it in your survival kit, or uh, in your wallet, or something that you're always going to have with you. But um, one more time, determine a need. That's number one. Number two, inventory possessions and available natural resources. Number three, consider all alternatives. Number four, select the alternative providing the most efficient use of materials, time, and energy. And number five, plan all construction to ensure that it's durable and safe. Thanks for watching. Hope this helps. Take care. Talk to you next time. Natural. Available natural and uh, 